Hey, what's going on everybody? I'm Will Button, this is DevOps for Developers, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to deploy a static site using some DevOps principles. So there may be some surprising things in here, so let me just show you how to do it, and along the way, I'll tell you why we wanna do it that way. So first, let me just show you the website that we're deploying here. It's this site, trustified.io, and it's a really simple website, couple of static HTML pages, nothing spectacular to it at all. And if we take a look at the application code, it's straightforward as well. So I'm gonna check all of this into my Git repository, and I'll push that up to my repo on GitHub. And if we take a look in GitHub, all of the files are now there. So now I'm actually gonna log into Cloudflare. That's where we're gonna be hosting this application using Cloudflare pages. So I'll log into that. And then I'm gonna go to the pages menu in Cloudflare, create a new project. And I'm gonna connect that to my GitHub account. I'll select the right account there and then install and authorize it for the repositories within that organization. And I'm actually gonna limit it to just the repository that I'm gonna deploy here. So we'll hit begin setup. And if we look through the frameworks here, we'll actually find Hugo, which is the application they use to build this application. The output directory is public, which is where the fi static files get generated to. So that's where we want to deploy from. And now it's gonna go ahead and kick that off. And it's pretty straightforward here. It's gonna run the Hugo build process. It's gonna clone my Git repository. Or actually, it's gonna clone the repository, then run the Hugo build process. That's gonna take a little bit of time. And if we look, we've got an error down here, something about a return function that's not defined. So the reason that it had that error is because Cloudflare by default used a different version of Hugo than I did. So I'm gonna go into settings and set a couple of production environment variables here. The first one is gonna be the Hugo version that I need Cloudflare to use to run the build process, and that's version 0.97.3. And then the other one I'm going to add is Hugo ENV telling it this is the production environment so that Hugo compiles the static assets for production. So now we can go back into our deployment, retry that, and it should succeed this time. And there's our message saying that the site was deployed successfully. And so now if we click the link that they provided for us, there is our deployed website. But I actually want to run this under my own domain name and I've got the domain hosted here in Cloudflare. So I can just type in my domain name. And Cloudflare is going to automatically create the DNS records for that to host my website. And so sure enough, if we go to trustified.io, there is our deployed website under my domain name and check that out too. We've also got SSL with it as well. So let me show you next how to deploy a change to the website if we need to deploy new code or new text to our website. I'm actually gonna change the about page here. And we can just put in something really simple right here. I'll come back and clean this up.
So now I want to create a new branch for my Git repo. And then I'll commit the files that we changed for this uh, request and push those up to GitHub. So now that's active in GitHub. So I want to open up a pull request and that's to merge that text change into the main branch. I'm going to go ahead and merge that in. And so now that does a couple things here. If you'll notice right down there, we've got an in progress build for the preview. And that's where Cloudflare is creating a review branch for this change. So it's actually going to stand up a brand new copy of the website using a URL for that pull request name that would give us a chance to see exactly what this is going to look like before we merge that into our main branch. Now, I already merged the, um, the code, the pull request in there, so I kind of blew that opportunity. But... That's a good tool to have if you want to review your code on the deployed site before actually committing it to your main branch. So there's our deployment log, the production build completed. You'll notice that the preview build failed and that's because it was missing the same environment variables. But now if we go out to our about page on our live website, there's the text that we just recorded. So that was pretty straightforward, right? And let's talk real quick about why we want to do it this way. Because a lot of static site generators, a lot of static sites in general, it's common for the developer to just push that code up to the website from their workstation. And I like this approach a lot better because what if the person who has access to push to the website is out on vacation or leaves the company? Or what if everybody on your team has access to write to production. Now, even if you have a good team and really trustworthy coworkers, it still opens up the possibility for things to go wrong and make changes to your website that you weren't intending to. So by removing the ability to deploy from your desktop or your laptop, we're just making it a safer environment. At the same time, we're also adding some automation into this so that we make sure that everyone follows the same process for getting code to the new website. So you'll make your changes in your local GitHub repo, and then you'll push those up, open a pull request. As you saw, if I add the environment variables for my Hugo version, it's gonna create a full working build that we could preview before we merge that pull request in so we know exactly what that's gonna look like. And then when we merge that pull request in, it automatically deploys to the website for us. Now this also gives us a couple things because I did this on Cloudflare. Uh, I get to use Cloudflare's CDN and their caching system, which is fantastic. So we'll also get those benefits as well. So there you go, really simple change, simple to set up, but you get some pretty cool features as a side effect from that that make your your workflow a little bit better, a little more streamlined and a little more automated. Hope you enjoyed that. If you want to learn more about other DevOps tools or try to figure out how DevOps integrates into being a developer, check out the DevOps Roadmap. Um, it's a really cool guide that I created that helps you find things that you already know and then understand how those are linked to different DevOps topics. And so check that out and I'll see you in the next video.